When defining a horizontal alignment in trimble axis tunnels, there's a variety of entry methods, such as the length, coordinates, which provides line, arc, entry, and exit transition elements, also end station, and point and PI, or point of intersection, which has various curve types, such as circular transition and transition transition. You can also select via the map in Trimble Access from a DXF or shape file for entering alignment elements. There's also a variety of transition types for spiral curves, station index increment, and through the map selection. For this, we'll start with the horizontal alignment. Click on that and then select new to define your start point for your horizontal alignment. Here we can choose from several methods such as keyed in coordinates for the start station or select an existing point. We'll enter a start station, in this case 1000, as well as a start northing and easting coordinate for that station, in this case 500, and we'll leave the station interval at 20 meters. Once you're done, you press enter and that will create the horizontal element. We'll need to add some more points to this horizontal alignment, so we'll select new. Now we have several elements to choose from such as line, arc and entry and exit transitions in an arc. So in this case, we're going to choose line and we'll choose azimuth and length, but we could also choose end coordinates and end point. We'll enter an azimuth of 25 degrees and a length of 200 meters. And then we'll select enter. And you'll see the new coordinates for that point are generated and we'll select accept. And now in the map view, we can see our horizontal alignment so far. Let's add another element. So we'll select new. Now this time we'll select the element as entry transition for our curve. Here we can choose an arc direction, the radius for the start and end, as well as the length. In this case we'll arc to the right. We'll leave the start radius as infinite. One thing to note for the radiuses, you can choose by you can choose infinite by clicking on the arrow beside the box we'll enter an end radius of 500 and a length of 150 meters press enter and the coordinates are shown and then store that and now you can see in the map view that arc being created all right now let's enter the arc for that entry so we'll select new now we'll select the arc element there's a, several methods We'll choose the radius and length, but there's various other ones that you can use. And then the azimuth's automatically generated. We'll choose an arc direction of right, and we can enter a radius and a length. In this case, we'll leave the radius at 500 meters and the length at 300. Press enter and then store. And here's our arc starting to be created. Now let's enter an exit transition for that curve. We'll arc direction to the right. We can choose the radius, 500 meters, and we'll leave the infinite at, for the end radius and a length of 150 meters. Select enter and store, and now we have our entry and exit elements to our arc. And we'll end it off with another segment, so we'll select new, we'll select line as the element, azimuth and angle, we'll leave the exit angle and we'll enter a length of 200 meters and press enter and store. Now we have our horizontal alignment created. We can hit accept to finish that horizontal alignment.